Hey guys, what's up? So I've been playing this game, <clears throat> and this is in the Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare for the Xbox 360, and it's also on Xbox Live. So I guess you could play this <clears throat> on Xbox Live, um, you know, with, with multiple players. It's Infinity Ward, it's Activision, so that's pretty cool. This is definitely one of the best games I've ever played. I mean, this Call of Duty um, franchise is blowing me away completely um, because this is a great game. The one I played before it was this one, and this is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. This was, I think this was a little bit better than this one, but this one is still amazing, amazingly good. <clears throat> and um, this is the first Call of Duty game I've played, even though I've had these games for freaking, I don't know, years four years like I don't even know how many how long that, that those games have been on my shelf but I just wasn't into I, I was never like really into army games and then I went to um GameStop and they had these and I was like well I heard Call of Duty was good so I might as well pick them up and and I just like picked them up but it wasn't the kind of thing I was playing so I just left them on my shelf and then I was like looking for something to play because I played all the other games, all the fantasy, the sci-fi, you know, all the monster hunter games and stuff like that. And like all the Skyrim like games and things like that. And I'm like, okay, I want another shooter because there wasn't a lot of shooters. There, there wasn't like, you know, like you run out of shooters and like games like Do Sex is pretty cool, but it's a stealth game. It's not really a shooter. I mean, it's a little bit of a, it starts off as a shooter and then you get a stealth uh, level. And I just wasn't into that. And I was just like, nah. And I, like, so I turned all these games off. Um, uh, what do you, Fallout 3, I tried playing that one. Um, I'm still trying to get into it. I know it's good. I know everyone says, no, just keep playing it. You'll get into it. But it's really, really hard to get into. It is a great game. It's well designed and everything, but really hard to get into. And, you know, I want to play something different. I, I wanted to play a good game, you know, because there's a lot of bad games. And I realized... There are a freaking shit ton. There are a lot of good games on the 360. And I wanted to play a shooter, and I was like, okay, Call of Duty, fine. It's a shooter. So I play this one, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, and I'm blown away by it. I did not know that you can get a shooter that's that good. And what they do is, and this one's amazing also. I mean, this is just as good. I think this one, the, the, the Call of Duty um, Modern Warfare 3, the first one, it takes off right from the beginning. This one... It takes a few levels to start to take off. It's still fun in those in those few levels, but I think the second part of the game is more engaging. There's more action. There's more cutscenes of action, and you're like in the action, and there's more like variety of action where you're like shooting a machine gun off of a helicopter, or like jumping out of an airplane, or like you know diving off of a freaking building or something like that. And there's there's different um, levels where you're shooting enemies like on the field, and there's like in buildings and there's all these different things you do, like paint targets so that like Air Force um, can, airplanes could take them out and stuff like that. You're on the back of a, of a truck and like shooting down enemies that are trying to chase you. Each level is different. So what's interesting about this is in Call of Duty 4, each level is different and, and it's just so much fun because everything is different. It's not like, I think the problem with games is, you know, at first they're fun because they're new, especially when they're well designed. At first they're fun and then what happens is they get a little bit repetitive. Like one level feels like the last level, feels like the next level, feels like the next level. And it, it just feels like, oh, I'm just, this, it's the same level, but it's harder. It's sort of like the old Pac-Man games where it was all the same level, but it was just faster. So the, the further you got into the game, the faster it played, but it was the, still the same game. When they went to Miss Pac-Man, it was different screens, so, um, you know, the levels were different and everything, and at least that was a little bit different. This one is really good. I highly recommend it, and if you read the back of it, it just completely tells you what's up with this game. It's got some uh, visuals in here of what the game looks like in here, and um, uh, I'll just read what it says. Game Informer says the most photorealistic um, video game we've ever seen and it's got winner of 43 awards including best of show from g4 it got that award best action game game critics award best shooter and best graphics GameSpot and ign.com gave it that 
And then if you read the back of it, real interesting little thing about the game, and it's pretty accurate. Multiple Game of the Year winner, Infinity Ward presents Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, the next generation of combat shooter and one of the most anticipated games of the year. Fight as a member of the U.S. forces and British special ops in global hotspots to eliminate well-armed ruthless for a well-armed ruthless force of international separatists. Take the fight online, where persistent stats unlock dozens of customizable weapons and abilities, like calling in attack helicopters and fighter jets to dominate your opponent. Okay, kind of cool, a little bit long-winded, but yeah, it's that's what it is. It's constant action. You know, the cutscenes are action. The, the 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 gameplay is action. You play as um, well. You play as a couple of different characters, but you play inside like a small squad, and you're just special forces. So you're doing all these missions. Like you know, you get dropped off somewhere, and then you've got to go into a building, and you've got to, like take weapon, take down enemies. It's so cool because there's a lot of strategy. Like every level is different. And so you need a different strategy for the different levels you're playing. Because you can't just play through a level. Because what happens is you walk in and there's like things to hide behind. Sometimes there's nothing to hide behind. You have to basically shoot without getting shot. And you know, and you have to get inside a building or like take some kind of cover because there are enemies shooting at you from all sides. So you have to figure out how am I gonna take this level? You can't just like go in randomly. You have to figure out a strategy for, okay, so first I'm gonna go this way, take down these enemies and walk into this building, take down these soldiers and then walk up to the next level, uh, take down everything. Basically, you beat the game by taking them, them the enemy down little by little. And you know, the other members of your team actually do damage. It's funny because I've played other games where you're in a team like um, Ghost Recon or like, um, Bad Company, uh, Battlefield 3 and whatever, Battlefield 2, great games. Battlefield 2 was a great game, Bad Company. Uh, but like your other, the other characters in your team, in your squad, they don't do anything. Like in, um, in Mass Effect, it doesn't do anything. Like the other members in your squad do nothing. You know, you're the only person that actually does any damage. And so you can't just run into enemy fire because what happens is they just shoot at you and then they take you down. And so you have to like hide behind something. You have to take them down one at a time because you're one man, one gun, and you, you can only take one enemy down at a time. You know, if you try to take down multiple enemies, it's hard because by the time you're like aiming and shooting at one, you got other enemies shooting at you. They just shoot you down very, very quickly. So you have to figure out how am I going to take this level down? And it's interesting because it takes sometimes multiple times to actually take down a level, but it's fun. And the thing about you know, taking down the levels and, you know, getting shot down and, and beating the levels is there are frequent checkpoints. So what happens is the, the save points, the game saves itself very, very frequently, like every like minute or two, like every, it, it every like 30 seconds, it'll save itself to a minute, it'll save itself so that if you die in the game, you don't go all the way back to like 20 minutes back in the level that you started 20 minutes ago. Those games are super annoying when it does that because you went through this whole level and you lost all of your progress because you got shot down somewhere in that level. And in this game, when you get shot down, you only go back like, I don't know, a few feet. You only go back to the last checkpoint and the last checkpoint could be like, you know, 10 seconds ago, 20 seconds ago, a minute ago at the most. You know, they're very, very frequent checkpoints where you advance. Um, the game is pretty cool. It just comes in a box like this and it comes with the little, the pamphlet. You don't need the pamphlet. It's nice to have it. It's nice to collect it with the pamphlet. You don't need the pamphlet because it's easy to play. There is nothing hard about this to play. There's nothing, there's no special things you got to figure out. There's no like long winded uh, tutorials where you have to like figure out how to play this gigantic game. It's simple. Each button does something and it's easy to know, you know, to, to, to play. One button aims, one button fires. One button throws a flashbang grenade and one button throws a frag grenade, you know? And that's pretty much it. And the other buttons select the weapon 
or jump or kind of like kneel or, or kind of like duck down or even like crawl on the floor. And it's fun. It's fun. And I'm not the biggest, like, I'm not the biggest army game fan, but I like shooters. I like good shooters with a lot of action and I like games that are, that are action games. And I think, you know, my favorite video games are shooters. So even if it's like a platform game like Ratchet and Clank, I like the shooter aspect of it because I think games should be about shooting or something like that or even melee combat or something. They've got It's got to be about action. It can't be about like, you know, jumping around and climbing mount mountains and then falling and having to climb a mountain five times over again until you climbed it. That's not fun. Stealth is when you're like crawling around all over the place. Um, that's not fun. But running into combat, enemies shooting at you, you taking them down, you beating them level after level is fun. Shooting a machine gun out of a helicopter is fun. Um, shooting like, you know, missiles out of a airplane or whatever to take down enemy factions on the ground. That's fun, there's a lot of blowing stuff up. You really do feel like you're in special forces and you know, you kind of got to remind yourself that, you know, special forces are, it's a serious job with serious missions that are probably not a lot of fun, but this game is fun. Like I, you know, maybe people that are in special forces are not having a good time being in special forces, but let me tell you something, this is a fun game. It's an army game. It's fun because it's like being a kid and playing army games, you know, like you're a soldier, you know, and you're in, a, you're in an army game and stuff like that. So much fun. I'm really delighted, like, I'm really, like, delighted that I, I found Call of Duty. And I did hear that, like, every Call of Duty game is amazing. Like, the whole franchise, I'm sure some of them are better than others, but every every Call of Duty, like, game is supposed to be really, really good. And um, it's just so much fun. There is, it's up to one to four players. Um, you could play this game on... Um, it's only four megabytes to save, so you don't need a lot of space on your 360 if you've got one of those 360s without the hard drive or whatever. And um, it's got like the HD, it, it plays on an HD TV and it plays normally like without an HD TV, it plays fine like that also. Um, so much fun, Infinity Ward, man. I've never played these before. This is so cool. Um, there's this one level where well, the only, the only thing about it is that, oh, look, okay, there's this one level where there's like an actual nuclear explosion and there's actual like nuclear missiles that you have to like disarm. And they, they get shot out. Nuclear missiles get like shot out and you have to like infiltrate the bunker and load the passcodes into the computer to disarm the missile before it hits its target. And it's interesting because I'm playing that and it's like, I've got like, Freaking 10 seconds left and like, I, I think I have even less than 10 seconds. I had like a few seconds left before the, the, the missiles hit the target and I unarmed them at the last second. It wasn't the at the first try, but when I did try it, it's fun because like you go into the, 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 the room where, where all the computers are, where you disarm the, the missiles and there's a few enemies there, but they don't make it too difficult because you're on a time limit and the timer is just counting down. You gotta take down the enemies and then it's like, oh, you know, it's like enter the passcode to so disarm the missiles. And it's like, where? <laughs> Cause it's a whole room full of computers and you're trying to like figure out where, but there's this little spot on your uh, heads up display on the screen that tells you exactly where your target is. So which way to go, left or right or anything like that. And basically it's not hard to know which way to go. Cause it's a, it is an open world game, but it's not hard to know which way to go you, there's this little dot in the middle of your screen and there's like, it says north, north, south, east, west, northwest, southwest and all that. And the dot tells you which way to go. So it's like a yellow dot on a, on a compass and then it tells you like, okay, go this way and go that way. Sometimes a dot tells you which way to go. Other times it doesn't really tell you the right way to go, but it's kind of kind of tells you the right way to go. And it's easy, all you have to do is follow the other members of your squad. They always go the right way. But sometimes they wait for you to take initiative and so they just kind of stay behind and they're waiting for you to go forward. And then you go forward and they follow you in. But, but most of the game, like half the game, if you're lost or anything, just find your squad and just get to them and then they'll start following you. You know, they'll start going in the right direction. You can just follow them or follow the little dot. And there's also these little mission parameters that tell you 
oh, go into the next house and disarm the the weapon or go into the, you know, go behind the tank and, are, and up, uh, upload it with C4 explosive or, you know, go into uh, that house and rescue the hostage and whatever. You know, there, there are levels where one of your members is taken hostage and you have to release them. There's, there's, there's levels where, um, you know, th th there's levels where you have to take down a terrorist organization and people that are like stockpiling weapons. There's a level where there's a nuclear explosion in the middle of the Middle East. And, you know, there's another level where there's like missiles, you know, nuclear missiles that, that get shot uh, into uh, North America and you have to disarm them before they, they, they hit their target. It's really good. And it's, it's like the first part of it, it's good. But then like, I, I think like, it just felt like it really took off about 40, after like 40% into the game, it really took off and it became more like, what I liked about Call of Duty um, Modern Warfare 3, the other game, which was constant action. What's interesting, you don't always beat the level. Sometimes the level kicks your ass, but that's part of the game. Like sometimes you lose and that's part of the game. It's not like you lose and you die and you have to do it over again. You don't, you know, the way you pass through it is by losing, you know? Uh, so you could take a fall off a bridge or something like that and that's part of the game. Um, so you don't always survive, but you always go to the next level and you play as multiple characters. You play as this guy, so McTavenish or something like that. This other guy, um, Price or something like that, or, or another one. Um, and you play like in different countries in different lands at different times, um, different environments. Um, it's just, it's so cool because it just keeps moving and it's not boring. It's not like, Oh, I already I already played this level and it feels like the next level and it feels like the next level and you know it's repetitive. I found a lot of shooters, the problem with even good shooters like Mass Effect, right? I found that the shooting there it's just repetitive. It's just like you hide behind something and then what and then like a an enemy comes out and you shoot it. It's repetitive. I mean, yeah, I know Mass Effect, you, you, it, there's more to it than that, especially when you play into it more. But a lot of games have this dynamic where you hide behind something and then you pop and you pop out and then you shoot the target and then you hide again before you get shot. And that's basically the whole game. And in this one, there's, it's, it's interesting because there's like different things to hide behind. Some, you can't, there's no actual hide feature in the game. You just have to kind of duck and, and, and go behind something, you know, so that you don't get shot. Um, and then when you do shoot something, you kind of have to like peek out a little bit, see the target and then shoot the target. Because if you come out too much, you'll just get shot down because the target can see you. Like, but if the target can't really see you and you're a little bit like, like, like peeking through a window or sort of like um, behind something, you're, you'll be able to take down the target. Um, multiple levels, there's a sniper level where you're taking down... Um, uh, targets with a sniper rifle at a distance. There's a stealth level where it's really exciting. The stealth level, actually, I, I don't really like stealth games, but I can do a stealth level. I can do like one or two stealth levels or a little bit of stealth in the game. I just don't like it when the whole game is stealth and it's like so boring. You just sneak around like Metal Gear Solid. Everyone loved that game, but I just I, I wish I liked it, but I can't I can't get into it. I didn't play all of them. I didn't play uh, Snake Eater and all that. I, I did play the one on the PS One, and then I played on the PS Two that one, and I just thought they sucked. I, I, you know, I didn't think they sucked. I didn't think they were a bad game. I just was bored of all the sneaking around. You know, it's like I'd rather have a firefight than have be you know all the sneaking around. You know, like they said in like uh, what's his name Harrison Ford said in Star Wars. <laughs> but um, but yeah, um, but there was a little bit of a stealth level, and it was interesting about that stealth level. What was good about it, it was it was very exciting. It was like you're on the edge of your seat because you're hiding, and there's like all of these enemy soldiers marching down right next to you with like tanks behind them and stuff like that. And you're supposed to like hide in the grass and they're walking right by you. And then you're hoping they don't see you because you're like in the grass. And if they see you, your mission is compromised and they'll shoot you and you can't get through, you know? So there's that, that's fun. Uh, they plant like um, 
C4 on tanks in order to take out the take out the tanks because you know otherwise you can't take down a tank and there's also this little um, thing it's sort of like a sort of like a, some kind of gadget where you paint the target meaning like if there's a tank there you can like click on it and it'll tell the helicopter to come down and, and like blow up the tank because you can you can't really blow up a tank with a rifle you need a, the helicopter to come down and do it you know so much fun if you got if you're into army games if you've never played call of duty <laughs> then play call of duty i don't know about any of those um play this one play this one okay yeah i'm doing the videos about this one but I'll play both of these play call of duty modern warfare 3 and i can i can vouch and attest that call of duty 4 modern warfare is also amazing um play both of them you know Play uh, if you've never played Call of Duty before, play play it. Um, if you played other Call of Duty and you're not sure like what other Call of Duties to play, those Call of Duties are amazing. Um, I really wish the like you know, oh, man, it, it, God, I, I'm just gonna play all of the Call of Duties now because it's just so good, you know. And and I don't know, I don't know. It's like it's it's interesting because at one point. I was thinking there's not that many great games on the 360 and then I started playing all of these like Battlefield 2 Bad Company, Call of Duty, all of these games. There's so many good games on the 360 that it's crazy but the shooters are just so good because they're next generation. They really did like figure out how to make a good action game that's fun and engaging and you know cutscenes and just rolls from one scene to the next. It feels like you're in a movie. It's lots of fun. Check it out. Um, let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video later.